Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to come in here and give you guys a free like bonus training. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, um, but I really do hope that you are enjoying one of my workshops that I have worked so hard to create on a topic that I'm very passionate about, which is mindset. Um, you know, mindset is one of those amazing aspects of, of how our brain works and that it affects our, our daily lives. It affects how we make decisions, literally like yes or no decisions, move forward in life or get stuck in life. And it's also so much more about even how we're able to be present in a day and age where we can get easily distracted. That is why so far I've had you try things like being unplugged from um, your digital uh, devices, even if it's an hour where you're just not, and, and the times that we're in right now, that is even more important. Things like being present when you eat, acknowledging all of the, the intricacies, I think that's the word, that go in to making your food and being present, allowing your body to digest and really absorb all of the nutrients. These might seem like little simple things, but in the long term, they are going to impact your life in a very large way. So what I thought I would do was just hop in here and just say congratulations. I, I love you all so much for sticking this out. It's just five days. I have so many more programs that are gonna come to life. Um, but also to kind of give you some top tips on other ways to really work and improve on your mindset. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to pull up my notes and I want to first acknowledge and honor every single one of you. Focusing on my mindset has been something that has been a challenge of mine, a majority of my life. It has been something that um, I have strived to do, but that inner voice has always gotten in the way. My ADHD brain has gone squirrely on me and you know, convinced me that I wouldn't make it at anything. And anything that I strive to do, you know, as a hairdresser for 21 years, I have been a nutritional life coach for the last year and a half. I've been network marketing, I've been doing that for the last five years. And don't you, you better believe that by not being present and focusing on my, the inner work that needs to be done, there have been times I've struggled in all of those aspects. And I am like hands, to, like no more. I need to have a clear vision for the impact that I want to make in this world. And that's what I want to do for you. You know, our inner voices are going to convince us that we're going to fail no matter what it is. And that's why we have to do this work. We have to focus on our mindset, focus on clear goals for everything. And I'm talking everything from life, personal decisions, um, things that you want to accomplish all the way to business. It, it can be applied everywhere. So without further ado, I want to share with you all the 12 steps that there are to develop a right mindset. And you can apply these, to, like I said, to business or into your personal life. But by focusing on these, you are going to have true growth and success. So first of all, I'm sure I've explained this many times, but what exactly is mindset? Mindset is the driving force for success and achievement. It is that thing that combines discipline, strength, confidence, ambition. All of those combined are going to give you a powerful mindset. It's going to help you achieve anything that you set your sights on. And why is that important? Because having a strong and positive mindset is, going, is essential for developing a healthy self-esteem. It is that important tool that affects our daily self-dialogue and reinforces our most intimate beliefs, our attitudes, and our feelings about ourselves, not about others. Having the right mindset is what drives you to show up daily in your life, in all aspects of your life. Okay, so one of the tools is deciding with all conviction. Just what does that mean? Deciding that this is the path that you want to take and that no fear is going to get in the way of you making your dreams come true, of you accomplishing that thing, okay? Decide that you will not give up, no matter how challenging the thing is, okay? I could use an example of life and business. So in life, um, that you really want to be an amazing parent. Like, that is your goal. Maybe you didn't have 
a present parent or a great parent growing up in life. And now you're a mom or you're a dad. And your goal is just to be able to reverse that cycle of what you went through. Well, how do you do that? You've got to get in the right mindset. If you start out by all, by, by just saying, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can be a parent, which is normal. We all do that. That's scary raising and bringing another life into this world and raising it up. But if you all, you start out already with a negative mindset, with a negative connotation and negative thought, that is the path you've already started on. Okay. It's the same with business. If you want to start a business, you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to change career paths. And as you're going into it or getting ready to sign on that dotted line or getting ready to accept an offer, you automatically start thinking, I can't do this. You're setting yourself up on that path. So you have to flip that switch and decide, look, I might fall. I might stumble. I might trip over my own feet, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. When you make the decision, you are promising to, you're making a promise to yourself so you can keep yourself accountable. Okay. Next is you need to develop your mindset. Um, a lot of our minds, a lot of the way we think and the way we are is inculcated from you. Okay. So I challenge everyone to write down all of the traits that you believe you took on from your parents, both good and bad. And we're not perfect. It's going to happen. But when you have it written out and you can see, well, okay, I learned from my mom or I learned from my dad, you know, low self-confidence that um, money doesn't grow on trees, that um, friends are really hard to make, uh, you know, whatever it might be. And then you write down all of the good things, you know, hard work, diligence, uh, perseverance. Um, you know, I know, I, I know that from my mom, I learned and my dad, I learned how to be an entrepreneur. I also learned not how to not be smart with money. And, and that just was probably that time period that we lived in my dad being an entrepreneur. He didn't work, he rarely worked for other people. He worked for himself. Um, and as they got further along and as I got older, they learned how to manage their money. But from, from youth, I could see that money was so scarce that when we had it, we spent it. We had the mindset that hurry and spend it because we don't know when it's going to come again. Instead of, Hey, let's save it. Let's save a, a quarter, spend 75 or spend a quarter and save 75 and build that up. I didn't learn that until later on. So you have at plenty of time in your life to flip that switch and start developing the right mindset, whether that is a health mindset, whether that is a business mindset, a recruiting mindset, whatever it might be, you've got to be able to look at yourself and say, yes, I'm all in. I can do this. I'm going to work on this. Okay. So this might seem weird, but in order to develop the right mindset, you need to make friends. You have got to build your community because your community supports you in your decisions, okay? Making friendships, building relationships is what life is all about. And realize that if you're looking at this, at this you know, training from a business uh, standpoint, um, you don't want to make friends with the go whole goal of prospecting them or adding them to your business or hiring them. We need to build our our, our sense of community, because it does shape our main, our mindset, you know, creating friendships is a lot easier when you have the goal of creating something to help support you and you support them. However, that might look, you've got to put yourself out there, join communities. If, if things are not, are hard for you or not welcome, join Facebook groups. Based on your interest, you can find so many. I always use this example as macrame. I don't even know what that is, but I see it every once in a while. But if that is something you're really interested in and you want to find like-minded people that are going to help build you up, and I'll give you an example in a minute, join a Facebook group. So I have a friend who, who lives on the coast here in Oregon, and she did not have a lot of friends. In fact, a majority of her friends, including myself, were over an hour to two hours away. And she had really decided that she, uh, during the pandemic, she started doing paint by numbers and she would send me the pictures and all that. And I would just be like, girl, I have too much of a squirrel brain. 
I'm just going to, my, the way my brain works is that I am such, so into numbers in adding them. I'm going to create new colors and it's not going to look like the original piece, but she has an eye for this. And so what she did, because she's also a Zumba instructor, and if she ever sees this, Tina, I love you. Um, she started talking to some of her customers through Zumba and they were like, oh, I'd love to start uh, doing paint by numbers. I didn't even like you know, they even think of that as a way to keep herself occupied at this, at the beginning of the pandemic. Do you know now that she has created a community of her arts, um, her art besties, I think is what she calls them. And they get together once or twice a month. They all have different paintings. They get together at each other's houses or like a little community center and they all do art. Now they're getting into like broken glass. I was trying to see if I had anything on here, but I don't. Broken glass, like art like she's making birds and stuff out of broken glass and they're going to thrift stores and they're buying those old style colored glass pictures and then they have smash parties and break them into these pieces and then create art from them this all stemmed from her realizing she needed to put herself out there because the pandemic was affecting her mindset being alone she's an empty nester was affecting her mindset and she just she has multiple businesses. She didn't want to inculcate them into her business. She just wanted to make new friends so that she could, um, you know, increase her self-confidence and her self-esteem. And look at her now. She's got a whole community and they travel together and all the things. Okay. So um, I'm, let me see. I'm one, two, three. Okay. Four, develop positive daily habits. Okay. This is something I absolutely love to help work on your mindset and that self-love and that self-esteem. Okay, you've got to get into a positive mindset um, and set the tone for the day by having positive daily habits. What am I talking about? If you don't have one right now, you need to start a daily morning routine. Hand to God, I have gotten off of mine. And I don't know why. It's, it's, it's probably just like everything that's going on right now. But I was like, I woke up this morning and said, that's it no more. I'm going to replan out my morning routine. I just got a new planner because I needed one and I'm going to put it in there and also put it in my phone so that I get an alarm that tells me I need to start the day with meditation. Even if it's five minutes, it sets the tone for the day. Exercise. Maybe you uh, really watch something motivational. There's so many things on YouTube that I'm, I'm actually going to start creating some soon and I will share them with you. Okay. Um, Connect with one to two people a day outside of business just to say, hey, I was thinking about you. How are you doing? How's everything going? How's your health? What are you excited for? It's almost spring. Are things back to normal, um, you know, in your area? You know, message, comment on people's social media posts. Let them know that you see the picture with their dog or the recipe they're sharing or the meme that they're sharing. Just Give it a like and a drop a comment. Like, I feel this, okay? That's where our life is unfortunately at. Now, don't let that get in the way of your one hour a day of daily detox that you should do. But I always try, what I try to do is just set a timer of when I'm going to engage on social media because it does fill my cup. Um, and it also helps, like it helps in my product, productivity in my business. You know, the next thing that you want to do, I'm not, I'm not even going to number these anymore because I've completely lost track of where I'm at, but something that can help your mindset is being excited. Have enthusiasm about life. Find that thing that gives you energy and that makes you excited. I just went to Target. I never go to Target. And I was like, I, I want a new comforter. I don't know what it is about like fresh sheets and a new comforter. And I wanted, everything kind of seemed gray in my room. Like I don't want to go in my room. And I found a beautiful sage green type quilt that goes with some of the grays and purples in my room. And it's that pop of color. And I, well, you believe me, I'm going to share it on social media. But being excited about the things that you're doing in life if you're an entrepreneur, if you are not exuding excitement, nobody's going to buy what you're throwing out. Nobody's going to want to join you. If you are excited about something that you cooked, share it. People will want the recipe. They will want you to send them 
uh, copies. If I just started playing golf and it's exciting because it's something new and you bet I'm sharing about it. I'm, I'm not even that great, but it changes the attitude. It, it, it's an energetic, optimistic, positive attitude that will attract people to you to grow your friendship network. And these are infectious traits. This means people will naturally feel good around you and you will feel good around yourself, okay? The energy that you exude is what people will tap into. And if it's positive, there will be a line out the door of people wanting to boost your, your efforts, to encourage you, to support you, which will help you in your mindset, Okay. The other thing is, why are you doing this? Why are you wanting to make a change? This is another tip. Keep your why in life as the forefront. In business, we talk about a why, having a why. Why are you doing this? Well, why was I a hairdresser for 21 years? I hated doing hair. I hated it. It did not give me joy, but you want to know what gave me joy was the women and the men that got in my chair that maybe were having a bad day. And then by the time they left, they felt good about themselves. I listened. I offered advice. I offered suggestions. We laughed. We cried. We got mad together, whatever it was. And when they left an hour or two hours later, they just felt good. That is why I did you know, hair for 21 years. So when I got into entrepreneurship of being in health and wellness, that was the goal. It wasn't even about the money. It was about helping people to feel good and to be healthier. Because if they do, if they feel that, I'm accomplishing my why, which is helping my mindset to keep going when maybe I don't get that next customer or I don't get that next client or I don't add people to my team and my business. Like, I, my cup is still full. My mindset is still on point. Remind yourself every single day why you're doing what you're doing. If you're doing this challenge because you wanted to see if your mindset had some improvement that it needed, you know, that needed to be done, remind yourself of that. Remind yourself, I don't know why Lucy is telling me I need to eat slower. Go back to your why. I did this for free. I didn't, I don't need anybody to do anything um, you know, give me any money or any of that kind of stuff. I just want everyone to be happy and be more present in their life. And when you do that, when you improve your why, when you, when you work on your own, why change all the time, you're able to accomplish anything, anything in your dreams. I'm telling you, it's going to get you through the hard times and you will, it'll keep pushing you until that, that wall finally breaks, you know, don't take rejection personally. This is another tip. Mindset is, um, this is a mindset killer, okay? This is it. When you get rejected, and I'm talking even self-rejection. Well, you were supposed to do a digital detox today, and you were supposed to do it for an hour. You only lasted 30 minutes. You failed. You can't do this. No, don't take that. Don't take it personal. Don't take that and allow it into your heart. Because we're not perfect. It's okay. All right. Not everybody's going to like, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. I don't want to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, the other, um, tip, <coughs> excuse me, that is super important is diving headfirst into personal development. One of the simplest ways to develop a mindset of a successful person is to spend time each day in personal development. I don't have my book. Oh, it's over there. Stories that stick is the book that I'm reading right now. The next book that I'm going to be starting is, um, is called Get Out of Your Head, Stop the Spiral of Toxic Thoughts. And then I also joined a book club. And the, the one that we're reading is The Power of Fun, How to Feel Alive Again. Like personal development by committing to like 10 pages a day, um, you will consume about 3,000 650 pages of material each year that is going to help you grow. This could be romance novels. This can be comedic things. These can be fiction, nonfiction, um, development in life, in marriage, in family, in business. It doesn't matter. Um, it, is, it is impossible to realize that when you do that, sorry, I was getting ahead of myself, that when you consume that much material in a year, it is impossible to, to take that in without making some sort of a change and growing as a person. While I find, um, I love finding new personal development books like I just showed you what, uh, that I, you know, 
squirrel brain, you know, I have to listen to them and read them. What I love more is having a handful of core books to read over and over again. I have probably about a hundred books over there that if I'm just realizing I, I, I need a little something, I know I can go over to my mini library and find something, click it up on my audible and just, and listen to a few hours of it. Um, you know, and then of course, creating a vision board. Vision boards are huge. I actually do one monthly and it's already the third. I need to do the one for March. I've got some big goals in my life and my businesses, one of which I knocked off yesterday and I just started a podcast. I haven't marketed it yet because I need to film three more episodes so that it can be uploaded. Um, but that's on my vision board. I do a yearly one. I have it over here with all the core beliefs that I want, the core words and actions that I want to accomplish this year. And then I do a monthly one so I can break them down. Um, and what this does is not only is it fun, get a bunch of magazines, or you could do it on Canva, but it's the surest way to improve your mindset and build your belief it, by spending time in, in dreaming about planning out, manifesting your ideal lifestyle. Think about that. We all might be like, I am not living my dream yet. We'll start visualization. That's, I think, day four. I think that's coming for y'all tomorrow. Um, and then, of course, um, you want to get to, in order to prove your mindset, and this has been really hard for a lot of people, but get out there and be around people. Go find a church. Find a charity that you really are passionate about and become a part of that charity or that community event. Look for local events that are coming by motivational speakers and authors. And you, that's where you can meet people because that's a commonality. That's a passion. Um, take up something new. Like I took up golf, take up macrame, take up glass art, paint by numbers. Um, by getting yourself involved in the opportunity to expand your, your abilities, but also meet other people, that is going to help improve your mindset. I guarantee it. Um, the other thing that the other tip I have for you is always stay coachable system programs like this that I'm offering that is free. This is the way for me to coach you, not one on one and to help you boost your belief in yourself and the powerful impact that um, improving your mindset has, you know, when you accomplish that thing, you take baking, for example. And it's been a biggest fear of you to make fresh bread because it, it just never works out. It's doughy or it's tough or whatever. But when you work at it and you follow the directions, being coachable, and, and you follow the steps, working the system, and your bread comes out warm and soft and fluffy and flavorful, not only are you going to feel really good, but you've improved your mindset and you have that taste of success and you're going to apply that in other things. It's like when children learn to ride a bike and they're telling themselves, mama, I can't do it. Or daddy, I just can't do it. I can't ride a bike. I just, I'm going to fall. I'm going to hurt myself. Of course, as parents, we encourage them, just try. You're going to do it. And when they listen to our instructions about balancing and, you know, I, I never taught my kids how to ride a bike because I was too scared that they would get hurt, but my husband did. And I was in that background of like, okay, you're doing it. Stay the course. Okay. You're wobbling. Like, all right, you know, get, get your center of gravity. And when they finally listen to our instructions and they learn to ride a bike in a day, you better believe that that child and you are jumping up and down for joy and that you were able to do something and their confidence and their mindset will continue to grow in that. But if we said, you're right, you can't ride a bike. You're not going to listen to me. You're not going to be able, you're not going to follow directions. That's just going to beat that person down, that child down or yourself down. So um, anyways, I want you to take into consideration that we've all heard that our own wrongdoing or to take ownership of, of where you fall short. Like we have to take responsibility for that. I used to have a morning routine and I got out of it. And you better believe me, it has affected not only my life and my business, but my mindset. Um, so I want you to believe that why it is so important to do that, to take ownership because we can correct the mistakes. And we want it to be all about owning our awesome, sharing your gifts, fully owning your gifts, 
there are so many people that downplay their gifts, including every single one of you. You know you're amazing at something. You just don't have the ability to recognize it and shout it out. It's okay to know what you're exceptionally good at. It's okay to have pride in that. Um, it's okay to fully own and tell people that you have an innate high level of talent for something. That is boosting your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your mindset. Because these gifts aren't really about you. Your talent is about how you can use it to serve others. I want you to stop hiding in the shadows of fear and of, of, of complacency. Stop muttering at your breath what you're great at and start shouting it out. People are waiting for you to step into your greatness and it starts with you. It starts with improving your mindset, setting a vision and goal for yourself and continuing to be awesome. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. I'm sorry it's so long. But again, you can tell I'm super passionate about this. I want your feedback, please. I would love your feedback on what you think of this uh, five-day workshop. What can I do differently? This is my business. This is, this is how I share my gifts. And I'm open to constructive criticism. So enjoy days four and five. Um, I will be going live in the... Um, the Fierce and Beautiful Collective Facebook group. I hope you guys are all in that. And um, sharing that this recording is going to be dropping in an email uh, tonight. Um, and that, you know, everybody will, you know, check their email and get it. So continue, continue, continue to work on yourself, to improve yourself, because you are already amazing. You are already amazing. You just have to see it and feel it. I see it. I can see it in you. You just need to see it in yourself. Okay? Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.